Yo, what is up? Welcome to my channel, Glen Rock Craves, also known as The Craveyard. You know, I'm on a never-ending quest for the best chocolate chip cookie I can get my hands on. I got a few places in mind that I want to stop by, so let's take a ride.
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that little video montage of the stops that I made, as well as me on the scratch and cut. You know, scratching is one of the things I like to do aside from eating cookies and donuts. Okay, let's get down to business. Cookies. on deck. I went around different spots, cafes, different bakeries, different markets that I know of that sold larger than average size cookies. So I went around town and gathered some up. But before I go on, let me point out one thing. This is the Lazy Acres chocolate chip cookie. They call it the cookie. Ever since I came across this cookie, no other chocolate chip compared to it. So far that I know of. This meets all four criteria in which I judge a cookie, which is an acceptable size, it's larger than average. Taste, thickness, look how thick that is, and texture. So every other cookie that I come across has to measure up to this. This is the standard. That being said, let's move on. And I'm gonna start with the smallest one here, which is Uncle Biff's Cookies in Hillcrest. This is the chocolate chip walnut. Average size, looks good. That tastes good. It has a nice crisp on the edge. Probably bought this about an hour, an hour and a half ago. And it cooled down and it's still crisp. So the texture is okay, it's kind of too soft, but the edges are pretty nice and crunchy. Size, it still doesn't measure up to the Lazy Acres cookie. Oh, and by the way, the Lazy Acres cookie, between one to 10, I rated this a 9.3 only because I know there are larger better chocolate chip cookies than these more thicker sort of like a scone size but that's in New York from the Levain bakery which is my dream cookie so I know that exists so I know this doesn't measure up to that so I gave this a 9.3 now back to the Uncle Biff's cookie Tastes good. Texture's okay. Thickness is average. Milk. Dip. That's the move. this 5.9 it was good so that was the semi-sweet chocolate chip walnut from Uncle Biff's killer California cookies All right, I'm gonna move on to the Uncle Biff's peanut butter chocolate chip it's very soft crumbling already kind of too soft same size as a chocolate chip walnut Falling apart in my hands. Take a bite of this. The texture is exactly what I thought it would be just by looking at it. Kind of powdery, breaking apart, peanut butter. It's not chewy, it's just so, it's soft and powdery that it's just breaking apart easily. 4.3. Alright, so next I'm gonna move on to the third and last cookie from Uncle Bips that I bought. 
is the toffee almond chocolate chip cookie. It's breaking apart already. Looks good for this average size cookie. Has a nice thickness to it. Love that it has almonds. The edges are crisp, which I like. Nice and chewy. I don't know about this. I love the edges. I give this a six. Toffee on me. I like the texture of it. It's really crisp. The nice, the toffee almond gives it a nice flavor together with the chocolate chip. Nice. So moving on. All right, let's go with the Lazy Acre cookie. Not the cookie, but one of the Lazy Acre cookies that's in the glass display that's already been sitting out on the shelves, the cookie racks. Look the difference. This is the cookie. The cookie that's been kept under a heat lamp. This is another Lazy Acre cookie, but it's out in the shelves. And you just pick it out yourself. So I'm gonna try this one. Look at the size difference. But look at the thickness. This one, it's pretty thick. Look how thick that is. That's what I like about Lazy Acre cookies. They're pretty thick. They're not flat. I don't like flat cookies. All right. Like David Ponog would say. Yeah, but one bite everybody knows the rules. Mm. That's a nice taste. Crisp edges as well. Nice walnut taste. cookie here, the Lazy Eckers, I give it a 7.9. It's really good. All is soft and chewy. Alright, next up is also from Lazy Eckers. It's a snickerdoodle. Now look at that. Look at that thickness right there. Wow. It's even a little thicker than the cookie. My favorite cookie. Although it's not as big, but wow, look at that thickness. Now that's a snickerdoodle. All right, you know the phrase, one bite or more than one bite. on the edges. Okay. This is a good snickerdoodle. Tastes like my my mom's old homemade snickerdoodle she used to make when I was a kid. Love it. Oh so good. I think this is one of the best I've had out of all the snickerdoodles you can buy at a cookie store. And this is also my first time trying the Lazy Eggers snickerdoodle. I 
know this isn't a chocolate chip cookie, that's what I'm mainly reviewing and comparing. But I'm gonna give this a score anyways. I give this an 8.4. Well, since I just ate a snickerdoodle, I might as well grab this one from the Black Market Bakery, another snickerdoodle cookie. But it's kind of falling apart because it's really flat. Let me just grab some pieces of it. As you can see, it's pretty thin. The cookies are thin at Black Market Bakery, but they're wide in circumference, even exceeding my favorite cookie. Let me give it a taste. Nice crunch on the edges. Nice and chewy in the middle. I love the texture. It's nice and soft in the middle. Yeah, it squeezes. So, the Snickerdoodle from Black Market Bakery definitely had the size but it didn't have the thickness. The texture is there, crispy and crunchy around the edges, chewy on the inside. It tastes, tastes more like a sugar cookie, it's, it's sweet. It didn't give me the taste of the snickerdoodle homemade that my mom used to make, like the Lazy Acres cookie did. So this snickerdoodle from Black Market Bakery, I'm gonna give it a 5.7. Okay, so while we're on Black Market Bakery cookies, I'll go with the. This is called the uh, Giddy Up. It's peanut butter, granola, coconut, and chocolate chip. Has a nice size to it, above average size. Thickness, it's sort of thin. I've had this before. Take a bite of this. The one I had was even larger before. No. This cookie kind of tastes salty compared to what I had last time. The texture, very crispy on the edges and very chewy. I like the texture. But because it tastes kind of salty, I'm not feeling this one. And look at it, chocolatey. That's what I like in a cookie. Not dry at all. I'm gonna give this the Giddy Up cookie. 6.1. You know, other times this cookie would have got a higher score for me only because this particular one tastes kind of salty. And it's even a smaller size than before. So, moving on. This is from the Black Market Bakery. It's called the Yeti. I forget what this cookie is made up of. I'll put the description on the screen right here. I think this is not bad. But it's not a chocolate chip cookie, but I just wanted to get it because I rarely ever eat these fudgy cookies. I just wanted to throw this one in. Okay, here we go. This is for all you chocolate, double chocolate, on top of chocolate lovers. It's not really my thing. I love contrast. Not bad. Texture is good. Yeah, eat with some milk. And because I'm not a chocolate on top of chocolate on top of chocolate lover, or even a lover of veggie cookies, I'm gonna give this 6.2. Texture is good, I admit that. Okay, here's the last cookie from the Black Market Bakery. It's called the One Toff, I guess standing for toffee. It has some toffee chunks on here. It's like another chocolatey, fudgy cookie. 
just break that open right here. Looks very fudgy. Brownish. All pain has gone. New love was born when you walk in. The toffee has a nice touch. You have the crispy edges. It's a little bit better. Like I said before, I'm not really into fudgy, chocolatey cookies, so I'm probably gonna give that the same score I gave the Yeti, which is a 6.2. Both similar in a way. Moving on to, here's a chocolate chip cookie I got from the Liberty Station Market in Point Loma. Look at those chunks. Pretty thick, but still, this is a compare to my favorite cookie in size and thickness. Sometimes it can be too rich and too sweet. It has a kind of a dry but chewy texture. I'm gonna give this a 6.1. Next, we have a cookie from a little bakery called Compan in Point Loma, Liberty Station. It's a chocolate chunk walnut cookie. Nice size. Not that thick, but good enough for this size cookie. Again, oh, almost the size of this, but not quite. Look at the thickness, huh? It doesn't match, it doesn't measure it. Think about this. Like this cookie has just been sitting around for a couple of days. Maybe maybe it hasn't, but that's what it tastes like. But that's what the texture feels like when you bite into it. Sort of a dry crunch. Mm. Tastes okay. No chocolate. Walnuts. Sort of dry. I'll give this a 6.3. Not my favorite chocolate chip. Next we have the butter toffee peanut butter cookie from Compan. Nice size. Okay thickness. It's a nice touch. A lot better than the chocolate chip one. I'm gonna give this a 7 1. Peanut butter, butter toffee peanut butter from Compan, 7.9. Alright, so that leaves my cookie, the cookie.
Normally when you buy this cookie, it comes out fresh, warm from under the heat lamp and the chocolate chips are so melty when you bite into it or even crack it open. It has a nice golden brown tint to it. It doesn't look pale like these other chocolate chip cookies. It's still so crisp around the edges right now. It has a nice distribution of chocolate chips throughout the cookie. A little more than what I prefer, to tell the truth, but still, look at the thickness of this cookie. It's hard to choose which cookie you want when you go over there, because they all look so good. Okay, I'm gonna bite into this. Mmm. So crisp and still all melty inside. Hit one bite. It's one bite. Everybody knows the rules. Just one bite. Look at the thickness. Look at that chocolate. Ch Look at the chocolatey chewiness inside. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. My goodness. That is. This cookie is truly moist, it's not dry, like these other cookies here. So far, none of these cookies measured up to this. And if there is another cookie, if there is another chocolate chip cookie in San Diego that can beat this, I haven't come across it yet. Look at that. Chocolate is goodness. Oh. So as long as this cookie is still around, none of these other cookies matter. Lazy Acres, the cookie. Still crunchy, still crispy. Look at those walnuts. Oh man, I gave this a 9.4. You know, because there are varying sizes of these cookies when they bake them. Some are fat like this, and some are wider. Still have a good thickness. The scores that I give these cookies can vary. I give this a 9.4. There may be one that I'll give a 9.5 or 9.6. Well, maybe 9.5 is the most. Just because, like I said before, there are other cookies out there that I know that exist that are better than this. And I just can't give this anything any higher. Unless they make a cookie that is as thick as the Levain Bakery cookies. Then maybe I'll consider it. But for now, this is the best that I've come across so far. Mm. Mm. There is just that one cookie that never disappoints. And this is it. Every bite I've taken so far, every time I bought this cookie, I'd rather have one of these than all of these. So if you got a Lazy Acres near you, drop by and check out the cookie. Mm. Alright guys, that's the review of these cookies. It was fun doing it. I'm glad to know that I've tried other cookies and knowing that this is the cookie that can't be beat and this is the cookie that I'll stick with. Lazy Acres. Peace.
thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.